Good afternoon. Brett and Cindy TN living. Yeah, I'm on one side of the camera, Cindy's on the other. We still together in this. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a fan of okra either. Yeah. <laughs> but we've grown a pretty good amount of okra this year and we canned it and we froze it. Well, we canned it for prime. I'm showing this because I've got a friend from Ken's Maple Leaf Forge and stuff channel. I was asking about it. It's actually cut up in the size and shape that we fry it. We just grind it off, batter it, and fry it. Of course, we pickled it. Full size pieces. We've got it cut up in that size. Like we're going to cook it, but we've got it froze. We've got to do something different with it. We've got plenty every way we've tried to do it, so I decided to dehydrate it. <laughs> Don't give me that kind of look. <laughs> dehydrate it? Mm -hmm. I watched a... Uh, I watched a channel the other day called Naturally NC. A woman named Miss D was showing how she dehydrates okra. And I told her people had been asking me if I ever do that, and I said, no, I don't usually take time to dehydrate. But we did buy a new dehydrator this year, and we hadn't used it much, and I thought it'd be a good time to do that. So we're going to dehydrate what I've harvested in the last day or two. Got a, got a few. Got a couple of long ones. I'm finna cut all that up and get it ready for the dehydrator. Get ready. I really always cut the end off. Make pieces, I don't know, what is that, three eighths? About a, maybe a half. Tail's a little small. I let one go too long. Let's see if. Yep, still good. That's why I was talking about the red okra the other day. Even though it's six, seven inch long piece of okra, it's not tough at all. It's not woody at all. That's one thing I do like about the bread burgundy okra. I'm going to cut every bit of this up into pieces about that size. I get done, we'll turn the camera back on, we'll season this stuff. Well, I've got it cut up. It made quite a bit. That's just a couple of pickings. We gave most of it to the neighbor the other day, but after I watched the video, I thought, well, I've got to save some for this dehydrating job. I've got it all cut up about the same size. What is that, about three eighths, maybe? Not hardly a half. And I was going to season it with ranch seasoning, along with salt and pepper and garlic, but when I got my ranch seasoning out, it's so humid here it was stuck into a ball. So I took the hard ball and put it into the Magic Bullet Blender. To clarify our ingredients we put into the Bullet Blender, we watched the video and it wasn't very clear. Of course I put the, about a tablespoon of that and it was stuck together. That's where we put it in the blender. A tablespoon of garlic powder. A tablespoon of black pepper. This is roughly rough guessment. About a tablespoon of salt, and run the magic bullet blender until it was all ground up and mixed together. That's what we're actually putting on the okra. It wasn't very plain while ago, so I thought I'd better clarify. I've got a quarter of a cup of oil. I'm thinking put a little bit. Of it. I don't want to use it all. I ain't hardly got enough okra for that. But. I'm going to put a little oil over it and sprinkle a little seasoning on it and stir it in. I don't think there's hard enough for all that. It'll help hold the seasoning to it. I get my spoon. My favorite old spoon. <laughs> You get tired of washing that spoon, don't you? I use it every time I get a chance. Yay! Right. It looks like it coated it pretty good. That's about a, I mean, half of that, really. About an eighth of a cup. A couple of tablespoons of oil. Let's see how 
just coats it. Didn't really want that much seasoning, but if you live in the south, you got to put up the humidity. Sometimes you got to improvise. I know what we forgot. We got to put some red pepper in this. I know we're going to eat it anyway. Mm-hmm. Let me grab a little red pepper. Mm-mm. That's the good stuff here. Huh? I'm sure that's all that we need. Gotta make it spicy. Mm -hmm. It's about what I put in my sausage. I'm a hot sausage. <laughs> it's good to me. Not good to you. Mm -mm. That's about a quarter of a teaspoon. No, I don't really measure. Everything I learned about cooking came from my grandmother, and I never did say use a teaspoon or a tablespoon measuring spoon. Mm -mm. Hers was about that much, and maybe a little more here, a little bit down there. She did use a measuring cup occasionally, but I don't remember why. Looks like it's coated pretty good. You can kind of see it all over the pieces. I've got to put this into the dehydrator and I'll show you the trays when I get done. Cool. Well, we just about got the trays loaded. Looks like it's going to make about three. I can get the sticky stuff on there. Good fresh okra. Lots of slime. <laughs> I have to pick Cindy can then the thoughts of slimy okra. Yeah. Gross. We ain't got to use this thing much, so it's still a learning experience, but it starts out I believe at 140 degrees. I'll make sure there ain't too many of them touch anyway. I'll have to go back through them if they dry a little more. It'll be easier once they get some of the sticky off of them. I made three trays. Ain't too bad. It's at 158. I was wrong. This one starts out hot. I don't know if that's wrong or right. I don't really know what temperature to dehydrate it at. We're going to start out with that and watch it. Starts out on with 10 hours. We'll go to 16 because it's going to give me plenty of time to catch it tomorrow. We're going to let it run and see what it turns up. Well, the dehydrating is done. I've got a half pint jar here and well, there was quite a bit in that bowl but you know I had to sample it to make sure it was good since it's our first time running it through our dehydrator it turned out pretty well it probably needs somewhere between 20 and 24 hours depending on humidity and temperature and everything but they turned out good and crispy I did make a few mistakes I want to discuss some of these up. You notice when they dehydrated they got really tiny. Actually I should have cut them probably a half or five eighths of an inch instead of three eighths to a half because they fell through my dehydrator tray. Some of them did. Not all of them but the small ends and stuff and the smaller okra when it drawed up it actually got too small to stay in the tray good. So, lesson learned, but the flavoring was really good. I think it turned out really well for my first go round with it. You get a little extra ochre, you ought to give it a try. It's pretty good stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
like and comment. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Have a good day.